Meta hitting a record high today. That's after today's Meta Connect developer conference, where the company announced its long-awaited AR glasses prototype, along with a new VR headset and new AI features. Well, joining us now for a rare and exclusive interview is Meta Chief Product Officer Chris Cox, along with our own Julia Borston. Julia. Morgan, thanks so much. Chris, thanks so much for being with us here today. You've been with Facebook since the very beginning, the very early days. And today we just saw the unveiling of the most futuristic technology Meta has ever unveiled. These new Orion augmented reality glasses, they're lightweight, but there's no date or price tag on them, no sense of when they'll launch. Why are you investing so much in this technology and how will it eventually tie into your business? Yeah, so today we announced a prototype of Orion. We wanted to show the demo to people just to show what we've been working on. It's the most advanced pair of glasses ever made. Um, it's lightweight. It's got a really uh, powerful computing in it. Um, you can see through it so you can make eye contact, but they project a holographic display so that you can summon a screen or you can look at um, your messages. You can watch video. You can have a video chat with somebody. We've been investing for this for a long time just because we are asking the question sort of what comes after the smartphone and what happens in a world where you're not sort of constantly checking a phone in order to understand um, how to interact with other people or to check whatever it is you're looking at. So this is a major leap forward for technology. It's a big step forward for our sort of goal to help define the next generation of computing. Uh, and it was the most, I'd say, premium thing we showcased today. Yeah, it was, it was really fascinating to see. What I'm curious, though, and I see you're holding a pair of the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. Mm -hmm. These are AI glasses, right? You can ask them questions. They can give you answers or information or help you set reminders. When will we see those augmented reality features maybe incorporated into something like this? I'm trying to understand what the business potential is here. Are you going to be selling this type of AR capability for $1,000, or will it eventually, in two years, be $300? Yeah, so these things are are doing pretty well right now in the market. Um, you can buy them in just about any Ray-Ban store. You can talk to them. You can ask questions about what's happening in front of you. Um, you can ask it to play music. You can make calls with it. They've been very popular. You can't tell us how many you've sold. We're not announcing that today, uh, but we did announce a new model today. Um, so we're starting to be available in more styles and ranges. These look good. They're comfortable. They're easy to use. We've worked hard to get latency down, which is how long does it take for the assistant to respond? Can you interrupt it? In order for these things to be natural, you want the voice interactions to be really, really um, close to the way you'd talk to somebody else, which means you respond immediately, you can interrupt each other, et cetera. So a lot of big advancements coming there as quickly as we can. Chris, it's Morgan. It's great to have you on the show. I mean, one of the key messages or takeaways for me today from the Connect conference was the fact that AI is driving product value. And I wonder how you are thinking about that right now, if this is a situation where Meta goes it alone, or would you actually entertain the thought of integrating into another platform like, say, Apple Intelligence? So the big announcement on the AI side for consumers today was Meta AI Voice. So you can now talk to Meta AI. It's got really good prosody, so it's very good at sort of a natural melody and a way of interacting with it. And as I mentioned before, the latency is really low. So starting today in the U.S., you can start talking to Meta AI and have a, a natural conversation in order to talk to it. Um, we have open sourced Llama, which is our large language foundation model. So there are already, I think, over 400 million downloads of folks who are integrating it into all kinds of different interfaces, whether those be new types of devices, whether they are um, different cloud providers, et cetera. So we've been very open about our approach. I think that distinguishes us from others. And as I mentioned today, it means that our models get better faster. Hey, Chris, it's John Fort. I I'm most curious about the Meta Quest 3S, which you announced today at 300 bucks, mixed reality, breakthrough price point. But my question is about the business model, because often if you've got one of these subsidized hardware situations, it's because if it's a gaming console, a company expects to make money on the software. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to scale, isn't it, without losing a whole lot of money if people want to buy, you know, hundreds of thousands or even millions of these. So what we're seeing there is there's a huge now growing range of apps. So the same business model you see for a device category like a smartphone applies here, which is that we benefit when developers are using our systems. 
We also know that more developers means that the toolkit for building in mixed reality gets better faster. We see that eventually applying to AR. So everything we talked about today with Orion will accrue benefit from all the stuff that's happening today in VR. So in that way, for the long-term business model of the company, it behooves us to have a toolkit, an active developer ecosystem, lots of folks making refinements and improvements, and then development in each category, whether it's entertainment, whether it's fitness, whether it's gaming, um, whether it's utility, productivity we showed off today, some of the work that you can do to make your headset into a workstation. So the same business model will apply that you've seen in previous generations of hardware. And in the meantime, having an, uh, an ecosystem building around it is going to be a big part of our long-term play.